Hi guys. Okay, finally. Just finished putting the wheels on the vacuum press. So, um, essentially what I built here is something that you can, uh, you can buy all of these components um, related to the vacuum press from a company called veneersupplies.com and uh, and then a bunch of stuff from your local Home Depot hardware wood that kind of stuff but the stuff specific to making this thing happen all came from veneersupplies.com cool place anyway uh, what this is is this is a this is a vacuum pump that is a factory refurbished vacuum pump and a great deal and uh, I think it's three and a half CFM you know, I'm not going to be doing industrial work, so that should be more than enough vacuum pump for me. On this end here, that's a goes out to filter. It's also a, uh, uh, they call it a muffler, so it takes about 8 dB off the sound, sound level. At the other end of the vacuum pump, we've got this, that's a Gazenta filter. And so this is where all the air that's getting sucked out of your project um, comes in through here, gets filtered before it goes into the vacuum pump because you want to take care of that vacuum pump. Um, and then what else we got here? All right. So the air comes in here. The air flow into this is controlled by this valve. This is called a MAC valve, and it's basically an on-off valve that when power is applied to the system, uh, it opens up uh, a valve that allows air to come in through this pipe and be sucked out by the, by the vacuum pump. And when power is removed, the valve is turned off, which will maintain the vacuum pressure on your project and it then releases the pressure to the vacuum pump which helps the vacuum pump start uh, so the next time it starts it doesn't see all that vacuum on its input part and it starts up very easily this is a boost tank um, that you know honestly I don't know what its purpose is other than that it's supposed to help the vacuum pump start I don't really care how all this stuff works just that it works. This is a huge capacitor uh, that also helps the inductive motor start. Let's rotate this thing around. You can see barely. All right, so this thing right here this is the pressure switch. That is the thing that power actually goes to. And depending on the vacuum pressure that's in the system, it either turns the pump on to increase the vacuum or it turns the pump off when it gets to a preset level. And, uh, and mine's broken. There's a, there's a little screw right here. My intention was to back it out in order to release pressure and when I put the screwdriver on it 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 was like a rose that had been dipped in liquid nitrogen it just poof it just exploded into a thousand pieces um, so that is connected well we'll back up a little bit so vacuum pump Mac valve here's the input tube Input tube comes to this manifold. Manifold is connected to these, these big pipes here. And these are storage tanks. So these hold vacuum. And it also goes to this valve, which is a valve that applies the pressure to your project. The other end of this would be plugged into a vacuum bag or something. And um, so once it, the vacuum bag gets sucked down, and this, uh, and this is holding vacuum pressure also, and it gets to some preset level, then the pressure switch turns off the vacuum pump, and it sits there and does nothing. Um, 
but all systems have leaks. So after some period of time, you'll lose a few uh, inches of mercury and pressure, and the pressure switch will turn the system back on. It's all it's all hands off. It's supposed to be hands off, and so you can get your project all laid up, close the bag, turn the system on, make sure the pressures look good, the leak isn't too bad, and go take a nap. Okay, what else we got going on here? Okay, so over on this side, this is there's a couple of um, wooden cord wrappy dealio thingies. So we can do this with the cord, wrap it all up, and up here is a couple of junction boxes that has all the wiring in it. The idea here being, um, with this handle, I can drive it all around. This is always powered up. This uh, outlet is always powered up. If this cord is plugged in, which, which it now is. And so theoretically, I should be able to plug in my drill motor. And the other side. All right, so that works. And so the next thing we'll do is I'm going to hit that switch. This applies power to the pressure switch. Pressure switch here. And if the pressure is too low, as sensed at the other end of this tube that goes into this thing, then it will apply power like a relay to the MAC valve and um, the vacuum pump, and it'll all turn on, and we'll start building vacuum in the system because I have um, the output port turned off. That's this handle right here. So. I have it turned off. I'm not applying pressure to any kind of a project. So when I turn this on, it should build pressure. Let's go. Okay. Well, the good news is nothing is burning up yet. And if you look at that pressure gauge, it's going up. We're at 20. 20 inches of mercury. Ooh, it turned off. Okay, so whatever, well, like I said, the, the, the adjustment screw on the pressure um, sensing control valve is broken. And so I can't adjust it. So apparently at the moment it's set for about 22 and a half inches of mercury. Which is cool. Hang on. I will now create a leak. As soon as I get all this stuff out of the way. Okay. All right, we're down to about 20 pounds. I'm gonna open up. I'm going to open up that red valve. Come here. Stay. Good boy. I'm going to open up this red valve, and at some point, it should all just turn back on again. 19, 18. Cool. Yep, so it's turning off at 23. Alright, and turning back on at 
Uh, 18, 18 and a half. <laughs> That's far up. Now, we have to dream up a project to use this thing on. Alright, just to give you an idea of the size. This is me. Ta-da! Okay, so it's actually pretty small and um, this is, <laughs> I haven't tried this, this is A cover for one of those round upright smokers. Alright, so I'll continue to play with that, but you get the idea, right? It took about 30, maybe 35 hours for me to put this together, mainly because, um, well, because I'm nut and I painted everything and I made it all neat and clean and a bunch of stupid crap like that that really isn't necessary. All right, so just like that. Oh yeah, hey look, it's still going. So I've obviously got leaks in there. I need to replace the pressure switch. Ah, but there you go. Project over. Now I can get back on the Corsair. Later.